Hey guys, it's Al. I'm here to give you the breakdown on macros. Bear with me, this is a one shot. I'm gonna try to give you all the information, trying to leave nothing out. So we hear a lot about macros and what are they and what they do for us. So macros are your macronutrients, proteins, fats, and carbs. Each person is allowed to have a set amount depending on their age, height, weight, body fat, etc. activity level. I myself, like I am currently at 60 grams of fat, 300 carbs. <laughs> And about my body weight and protein, which is about 150. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a surplus now because I have a competition coming up, and I'm training for that to gain a little bit of weight. But for the most people, they're going to be in a in a deficit, which means they're going to actually intake less calories than their body needs. And the, what I do with macros is I calculate it so that I can give you that exact percentage of what your body needs, just slightly underneath it, so you actually do burn fat daily, weekly, however much it is, however much your program is set to burn including the you do not lose as much muscle mass as possible so the great thing about macros are it's it's really good on people just life lifestyles depending on what your lifestyle is it doesn't even matter macros is great for you so let's say an average day for me will be maybe some cereal doesn't even matter what kind I actually just eat Captain Crunch or whatever I have and what I do is I just get the set grams I'm gonna show you right now so, for instance, this morning I had, so this is breakfast, add to breakfast. It's going to look different on the app than it does on the computer, but it's just easily more visible here. So what I had was cereal, as you can see the day before. I had Kellogg's. These are all my, my history of things I usually like to eat. So you go to history. I'm going to add this quantity. So it already has the grams, how many I need. So 28 grams is one serving. And I have four because if I can't have more than three, it's not even worth having. So I'm going to have four Apple Jack servings at the checkout. Or check, sorry. And here we go. So for instance, I just woke up this morning and I got 48 sugar. I really don't care. All I care is about I got 100 carbs. So that leaves me with 200 more carbs for the rest of the day. I am at four grams of fat, but what is cereal without milk? So we'll go ahead and add that in there too. I do like fat-free milk. Well, I actually don't like it, but it's more macro-friendly, so in so facto, I do like it more. We're going to add one cup of milk. And that's a bunch of ads. There we go, back to where we were. There we go. We got our cereal. We got our milk. Cool. Now I usually go to school, do some things. When around lunchtime, I usually have lunch packed. If I don't, I can go to Subway or whatever. So this is my recent history. Let's say, mm, I feel like Little Caesar's hot and ready, right? That's crazy. You don't want to die. You're eating a Little Caesar. It's okay. So what I had, I had two slices of that. Let's say I was hungry this day and I ate three slices. One slice, 124 grams. We'll go and add that at the check. Here we go. Now we're filling up now, right? So now we're at a fat total of 33 grams. Our carbs are 96 for this one. So now our totals are down here. 209, 37, 55 protein. So at this time of the day, I'm usually pretty low on protein. I'll go ahead and add snacks. Um, you can have a protein powder. I do buy Quest bars, so I'll buy one of those. They're really good in protein, about 20 grams of protein per serving. I might even have a shake with this so I can give me 40 grams in one sitting. But now my protein has gone up to 76, so I'm halfway done with the protein for the day. I am pretty gone with my fat. My carbs are pretty high, but that's the best part about macros is as long as it fits in these deficits here, you're fine and if you hit your set numbers for instance minus 300 here 60 here and 150 there that one will vary 135 150 in that range for me I will lose weight or in this case I'm actually bulking so I will gain a little bit of weight in your case it will be set as a deficit so you'll lose the weight if that's what your program is stated for so this is the best part about macros is this now sometimes you may mess up and they hey for dinner time I really don't have much room what do I do? Well, there's lots of alternatives. So, right now I can already tell you, light is just as good as the regular. Sugar-free is just as good as sugar with. 
Only difference is you can have a lot more sugar free, a lot more reduced fat if you do that way. So that's the key to macros is, as you saw, fat free milk. Yeah, it's not as good, but after you have it for so long, it tastes just the same. Um, let's see, jelly, sugar free jelly is great. Fat free cheese is not as good. I promise you, it'll probably never get as good. But, you know, fuck it. It's cheese. Cheese is never bad, so it's still good. Different things like cream or sugar free. So there's different alternatives to whatever you have. There's different kinds of breads that you can have that are like one gram of fat, 0.5 actually to be in fact, is the Nature Owns Valley. And uh, it's about 12 carbs per slice. And that's a pretty decent amount of protein and fiber. So that's what I, that's that's the best part about macros. Sometimes let's say a uh, the friends want to go in and meet up and have dinner. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, you can have things like cucumbers and just have a really light breakfast or even skip it all in general. Have a small lunch, and that will give you like 40 grams. In my case, if I was to have skip lunch or skip breakfast, actually lunch have. Um, two whole cucumbers those things are great on macros that would probably be like 15 carbs um maybe have like two protein shakes sorry look at the time maybe have two protein shakes that will give me up to 60 grams of protein and that gives me a, about 110 120 grams of protein left about 50 fat you can go with your friends you can go have a meal with them so it's, it's the best part you can live still on this diet along with the results that you want from the gym, you'll be able to live on the other hand. You can, yeah, chicken and vegetables, that stuff works for a week and then you get sick and tired of that shit and makes you want to vomit and I've been there and I hated it. This, I'm happy. As you saw, I just had pizza yesterday and it was fantastic. Yeah, I didn't get to eat as much for the rest of the day, but whatever, I enjoyed my, my cravings. Sometimes I crave donuts, I'll have two of them. Yeah, it messes me up for the day, but whatever. I'll make do with just the fat that I have and the carbs that I have left over and it, I'll be happy. I won't cheat because I'll be content. So for the most part, this is my macros. This is how it works. If um, I'm trying to think of any other questions I may have, that's how all this works. Um, let's see. We can go ahead and finish the day off right now, 2.30, 44. So let's say I'm home from the gym. I'm going to go ahead and add food. I'm hoping you can see all this, by the way. Uh, let's see, with the limited fat that I have, let's say I want some chicken nuggets, I probably won't be able to have very many, not 15, that's for sure, maybe like 9, actually not even that, maybe like 6, these are all memorization because I eat these things a lot, so I know, I know about how much stuff is in this, so we're gonna go down and see where I'm at, 56 fat, that's good, that means I can probably add like maybe one more, Nugget or whatever that is carbs are at 260 so I can go and have uh, Something with high carbs very little fat. Let's see what I can do already in my history Let's see Maybe some peanut butter. Yeah, we'll do that About one serving of peanut butter. We'll do 0.5 because two tablespoons you want to do one so we'll do a point five and we'll go ahead and add checked. And that gets me at and uh it didn't save, so that happens sometimes. We'll go ahead and try that again. Skippy peanut butter. Sorry. Skippy peanut butter. 0.5. Add checked. Let's see if it goes through this time. If not, you know, whatever, you'll figure it. There it is. So 64, I did go over a little bit. I could have done 0.25. And that would have gave me what I wanted. Carbs at 248. So with two slices of bread, that will give me up to like 40 and so on and so on. And maybe a couple more. Maybe another protein shake or some chicken. So that's, that's pretty much the, the gist of macros, of how it works. I mean, if you have any questions, always feel free to call me or email me or Instagram direct me. Sorry. It's a girlfriend hung up on her. She'll be mad. Um, anything else? 
you will probably be low on protein the first couple days or the first week or so just because it's, it's it's only an animal source protein and maybe some soy and stuff so it's kind of hard to get in there but eventually you'll get good at eating chicken and just different kind of alternatives to get your protein up getting fat and carbs all right, it's always going to be easy to get that you'll always probably unless you plant it you won't do very good so that's what I, I get into another one there's two types of macro people there's the planters and then there's the just go with the flows I'm person just go with the flow I eat deal with the consequences later of what I have left those people who the day before will plan their entire day um, I can see how it's helpful so you know what to do so you don't go over unless you like I just don't like the constraints and the structures I just like to go with the flow and see what I get at the end of the day and that's just the best way for me I mean whatever you feel works best for you is the best way so anyways that's all I can think of right now at the moment if like I said you have any questions go ahead and email me Instagram direct me and any way you can get a hold of me I'll always be there to answer any questions thanks again and uh, I'm out